friends i am delighted to be this year once again to make sure i meet all of you secondly to congratulate paul sagu who really encourages the asians to ensure they keep on doing good jobs in the hope of getting the awards this year i am proud to say that you will be happy to know that the business leaders award is to go to the most powerful banking woman of the world for which each and every banker is proud because she has dealt with all complexities and in the most difficult country to deal with she built up her career in banking and she really performed something unique because firstly she is very charming even if she has to say truthfully no she knows how to do it very charmingly and not to disappoint the recipient she followed very carefully the systems and the procedures of the bank she is full of high integrity honesty and she understood what banking is and to deal with the world economy in ups and downs was really remarkable and she had more than 24 branches under her and how she managed her husband and herself you people have to ask her i am not supposed to reveal her name if any one of you can guess there is an award for you but otherwise i will ask my good friend here to reveal her name but i can only tell you i have dealt with her i have banked with her and i have found her very capable and most interesting in saying no <laughs> but when she liked the proposal she would jump on it and she would grab it like anything and she was fast and quick in this she has excellent business acumen and in banking i think we have no parallel to her in the world thank you from joining the state bank of india at the tender age of 22 at a humble entry level position this immensely driven woman rose through the ranks to the top spot becoming chairman in 2013 it was a role she was so successful in that forbes magazine named her the 25th most powerful woman in the world Last year she presided over one of the largest and most important mergers in Indian financial history a transition she was so integral in that she was asked to stay on longer than the traditional 3 years throughout her career she also introduced policies that made working life easier for the bank's female employees including a 2 year sabbatical leave policy and free vaccinations for cervical cancer Having completed her work at SBI, the financial world is paying careful attention to what she does next. She took the top spot at the State Bank of India, and now she's done it tonight with the Asian Award for Business Leader of the Year. On behalf of PaySwift, I would like to invite on stage Arundhati Bhattacharya. A financial tour de force who's presided over one of the biggest mergers in banking history. No wonder she's billed for one of the top spots on India's Bank's Board Bureau. Dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, my heartfelt thanks to Asian Awards for giving me the signal honour. It is indeed a great a uh, pleasure on my part to come here and receive this from all of you uh but i would 
not really be doing my duty if I didn't acknowledge uh, my grateful thanks to the many people who have made this possible. Especially my country, that it allowed a woman for the first time to actually lead a Fortune 500 company out of India. To allow me to be that first woman was indeed a very great honor. Not only that, it gave me a platform to do something which I don't believe has ever been done in the world. That is merging six banks into one on a single day. Besides that, while at the bank, I had the opportunity of leading the financial inclusion drive, whereby in seven months, we opened 110 million accounts. Most of these accounts, when we opened them, 97% of them were zero balance. Just last quarter, when I looked at our bank's results, those very same accounts had more than $4 billion in them. This has resulted in a huge amount of inclusion activity and has definitely helped these people, so much so that even on the day that I was leaving the bank almost two and a half years after this activity, we were opening something close to 60,000 accounts per day for this particular class of people who had till then been financially excluded. Also, I heard a lot about diversity over here. The platform allowed me to bring in a number of women-friendly policies, but not only women-friendly. Last year, the year before I left, we got the President's Medal for having integrated the maximum number of disabled, differently abled people into the fully productive workforce. And in fact, many of the teams with which these people worked actually told me that their productivity was more than the fully able people on the team. So, all of this was made available to me because of the platform I received, but also because of the huge amount of support that I got from my colleagues. 220,000 of them when I began, 270,000 of them with the merged entity when I left. All of them undertook whatever was requested of them. They managed to meet the challenges which they believed couldn't be met, and they met them with full success. So all the credit for this actually goes to my team of people, to the people of State Bank of India. And of course, last but not least, my family and my friends, my husband, Prithimoy, my daughter, Shukrita, they have given up a lot in order to enable me to be where I am here today. So I must acknowledge with full gratitude all that they have done to help me in my many ups and downs in all of the moments throughout this entire career of mine. Thank you again.